Forever Dog. Welcome to Forever Dog. You can listen to this podcast ad-free on Forever Dog Plus by signing up at foreverdogpodcasts.com slash plus. And make sure to follow us on social at Forever Dog Team and check out all of our podcasts at foreverdogpodcasts.com. Thank you for your support and enjoy the show. Hey girl, hey! It's Shea Coulee, winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, All-Stars 5, and internationally stunning drag queen. And did you know that... I'm a top model super fan. It's true. And I want to invite you to listen to my new podcast, Wanna Be On Top, where I explore the reality TV show juggernaut, America's Next Top Model. Over its 24 seasons, Top Model really gave us so many amazing TV moments. And we're about to talk about all of them. Wanna Be On Top comes out twice weekly here on Forever Dog and Moguls and Media Network. Yes, that's right. I'm joining mom. We've got new episodes on Mondays and Thursdays, and we have a fantastic lineup of special guests joining us. This is not an episode-by-episode recap show, just a top model kiki with me and my incredibly fashionable and fabulous friends. Search for Wanna Be On Top wherever you get your podcasts and subscribe. But make it fashion. Wanna Be On Top comes out twice weekly here on Forever Dog and Moguls and Media Network. With me, Shay Coulee. Ooh, are you I feeling? I can't talk right now. Stop texting me and calling me, please. I will get back to you when I can. Sorry. RuPaul. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break from that phone call. Um, and we are so lucky to be lucky this week. Oh, wow. We are so lucky this week. A unique experience in gay culture. Four tops all in one room. <laughs> There'll be lyric writing, color-blocked choreo, and lots of lip syncing. We are so close to the finale of season 13. I can taste it. <laughs> and we could have brought anyone to the Mom Network. Janet, LaToya, Paula. <laughs> but we want to welcome Shay Coulee to the Mom Network. Officially. Yes, her new podcast premiered this week. It's called Wanna Be On Top, and it's all about Top Model. Officially, mm. we have her. <laughs> Just search for Wanna Be On Top wherever you get your podcasts and make sure you hit subscribe and support our new show. It's going to be so much fun to go back through so many iconic Top Model moments with her. That's right. I can't wait to be a guest. Ooh. Welcome to the mom, Shay. Mm-hmm. What's that? What is that? Is that another live stream? Oh, yes, honey. Oh, my God. I love those. Mm -hmm. (gasps) Gird your loins, chasers. We've got a special event coming up. On Monday, April 19th at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, we're having a race chaser live stream. Uh, Are you smarter than a Rue girl? And a meatball. That's right. Uh, Yes. This is our very special quiz show, gaming trivia contest mm -hmm. to raise money to help save our favorite bar in Los Angeles precinct. That's right. Featuring the guest talents of Katya Zamalachikova, Mayhem Miller, Meatball, and others. Stunts, tricks, questions that drag queens should definitely know the answers to, but probably won't. Like, what is a weft? And uh, why does it burn? Or, how do you make it do what it do? Uh, if you know, you know. Um, so, head on over to Holla Race Chaser. Holler at me, you know. Holler at me, you know me. <laughs> Holler at me, I know you know me. Holler at me, I know you know me. Uh, so, head on over to RaceChaserTickets.com to get those tickets. $10 for an amazing evening of entertainment with your favorite divas. Uh, and it's all to support the cause of saving an important queer space here in Los Angeles where I perform and suck dick. That's right. RaceChaserTickets.com. Get your tickets today. Please. Bye. Bye. And bye. Goodbye. Forever. (laughs) Dog. Race Chaser. <laughs> Hello. Hello. 
Hello, and welcome back to Race Chaser, Race Chaser, a podcast dedicated to the discussion, dissection, and dissemination of every single episode of RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag, Drag Race, Race, starting from the very beginning. Um, this is the beginning. My name's Alaska. What's yours? Hello, I'm Willem. So many blessings. So many blessings. Last week, we were blessed with the five remaining queens acting. They were schmacking yes. and acting their way where they had to pretend to be teeny tiny little ladies on a green screen. And after some Zoom chats with their friend Scarlett, hey, it's Scar. Hey, it's me, Scar. <laughs> the dolls delivered the performances of a lifetime. Well, four of them. The runway category was Hot Pockets. And Candy and Olivia were in the bottom. And the only artist appropriate for this type of lip sync? Share. Show. <laughs> of course. And Candy proved to be strong enough to stay and slay another week. Olivia went home, and we are left with our amazing season 13 top four. Wow. Uh, you know, yeah, I loved last week's challenge. That was not a skit, that was a feature. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm filming a feature. Um, it felt like a short before, like Steamboat Willie. Ra- like a, oh, oh, yes. Or the that. Brave Little Toaster had like a little car short, too. Like, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Very Yeah, bad. definitely. So um, Olivia went home. Yeah. Our Divalicious um, Leva. Our uh, uh, Oliva. Our Divalicious Leave Dust. Yeah, Oliva. Oliva Lexington. Um, she wrote a lipstick message for us that says, Believe in yourself as I believe in you. XOXO, your polite diva. Live. 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 I'm going to crack open a can of live. Honey, I'm going to crack open a case, darling. Uh, she's lovely. Uh, God bless. It was so close. You know, I mean, it, it, you know, but we have our final four. Yeah, she'll be fine. Look at Ben. He was fifth. Um, all the other right. girls are so proud of Olivia and they're like friendly and it's gorgeous. So everybody's parting on good terms, but they're happy to see her hit it because they said it was her time to go. One of them said she had more learning to do. Um but now comes the win tally where the girls are like, last episode, oh, how many well, wins do you have? Oh, how are you doing? I haven't been keeping track. Um, but I, for- oh. I forget which ones I won, but I know it's like four, uh, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just not count. Are we Sim- counting minis or ma- just mini- Sim- mains? <laughs> oh. Minis are, as we know, they're one third of a point. <laughs> they're, they're worth one third of a win. Um, Simone has four wins. Rose has three wins. Mm-hmm. Got Mick has two wins. And uh, Candy Muse has one win. And then so, she changes the subject. No, just, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the point, though, when you're like, well, I may not have many wins, but <sighs> I've never lip synced. And then other girls are like, well, well, I've never been bottom. And then we know that's a lie because everybody and bought him. Candy Muse is like, how about this weather? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Can you believe it? Uh, but really, I mean, you know, it really could be anyone's game. I love a good 4-3-2-1. 4-3-2-1. Baby, come on. U-Z-L-Y. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I think You're the so best... ugly tonight. tonight. You probably should go home with yourself. Um, the you're good so to... ugly. Uh, 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 so you're ugly, so ugly, ugly, ugly. You're so ugly. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, I think that the best way to change a subject is always just change your wigs. And at this point, Rosé puts on this pixie cut wig. And I have a feeling that at least three other girls in the room tried on that wig right after that. But we only saw one. Because you can't just pull out a wig and then not let all the girls try it on when it's so ugly like that. Wait, that little scoochy doodle, little purple. Uh, the little um, with the side piece. It comes piece. back later, yeah. The Joey yeah. J wig. Uh, I jo- love that The Joey wig. No Way wig. <laughs> well, I we- love that unit. And I thought Candy looked sickening. Well, prison, honey. <laughs> Very. Very that. In- India, Farah, and Phoenix are mm-hmm. sending. They're writing up the paperwork. For a cease and desist. And, and we'll we have speaks. it delivered on Candy's new boat. Because the next day she says that <laughs> she, since she wants some prize money, she's going to buy a boat. Now, yes. The other girls all plan on investing the $100,000 prize in their drag. But Candy says, uh-uh, I'm getting a boat. What would I do with $100,000? I would try to um, put like 20% aside for me, I think. And then 20% aside for like figuring out some way to do like more uh, like charitable stuff and like some good mm. shit just mm-hmm. and then um waste the rest on like you know investments and clothes and wigs and vacations yeah 
um, buy a bunch of girls uh, their top surgery and get them cute tits. <laughs> um, I would be giving out money, honey. I'd be broke in a month. You can, you can, I, yes, that would be me for sure. I'd be Definitely. doing all, all of it. Um, Definitely. I, yeah. Um, what would you spend with your 100? Well, you did get 100,000. What the fuck did you buy, bitch? I you did. You bought music and videos? You know what? No, I keep my promises. Um, and I bought 100,000 slices of pizza. I did. So, you no, know, I, I said I would do it and I, I did it. So, even um, though you're gluten free and uh, at times dairy free, I'm proud of you. And, you know, I, I after a couple of slices, I wasn't hungry anymore and they, they went rotted. So, um, oh. but, but it was worth it uh, just to say that I followed through with my campaign promises. Oh, wonderful. Um, we get a video message <laughs> from RuPaul that says, My top queens. Top queens. Woo! Throughout this competition, they went when they went low, you went high. And now is your chance to leave an indelible mark on this competition. Now, just between us squirrel friends, wherever I leave an indelible mark, I just sneak out the back door and blame it on the dog. <laughs> <laughs> so, the girls have no idea what that means, but they know it's four of them left. So, Rue comes in and says, congratulations on making it to the top four. Delicious divas all around. Uh-huh. And uh, for this week's maxi challenge, there's just one question for you. Do you feel lucky? Well, Punk. do you? <laughs> Each queen is going to be singing and dancing to their own <laughs> original verses of Rue's brand new song, Lucky, which definitely wasn't meant for the Vegas girls at all, with a performance choreographed by Jamal Sims. Which I'm always here for because he's fine. Uh, are you saying Ooh. that this is a song that was what? I just feel like it's very Vegas themed. Like the girls would have done it for like season two of their Vegas show if that happened. I think you're right. It's very that vibe. It's very, uh, mm-hmm. it's very an upbeat, uh, John Casino. C. Very catchy. Santino um, Rice, Blow the Dice. <laughs> Luck, they're saying lucky, you know? Um, right. I mean, I just thought they it was going to be a story about a girl named Lucky. Um, uh, <laughs> who sits on a, a billboard and throws glitter. What does she do in the early morning? (laughs) I'm always down for seeing Jamal choreograph too, because did I tell you that he dates Kurt from American Apparel video? Oh, oh, really? Uh Uh-huh, they're the cutest little Instagram couple. So whenever I see Jamal, I think of Kurt. And I think of Kurt above me on a box. Oh, my gosh. It's Christmas. And Got Mick is also obsessed with Jamal. Um, oh, yeah. As we see in a flashback from a previous episode. <laughs> She's Twitter painted about it. And for the lucky looks, the queens can use supplies from the fabric.com wall. Wait, whoa, 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 wait a second. <laughs> Everyone had lingerie in a color blocked color. Was this a predetermined runway or was it? Did they have stuff they could pull? What's the tea with this? Do you let know? Me t- let me tell you, for all the amount of time dedicated to season 13, there were some missing chunks of just like time, what happened, where did they get those outfits, how did they record those songs? They didn't show us any of the making of the outfits, so I love that they got their fabric.com slash chaser <laughs> plug in. But I, that, listen, I don't I, listen, really I love these girls. I think they're lovely. I think they're deserving of everything lovely in life. But I... I it, None of them made uh, made their lingerie from the fabric.com wall. And the fabric.com love- wall had very little to do with anything this episode, but <laughs> I love fabric.com. I think they have lovely <laughs> fabrics. I think they deserve everything lovely in life, but I, they were not wearing fabric.com today. Honey, does fabric.com have an ocean? Do they have an ocean department? Because I don't have an ocean that they were used at all. <laughs> well, I'd like to know where I get some yeah, notions. notions. I'll 13. Uh, um, oh, thank you. Uh, we're going to take a break and um, file a civil suit against Fabric.com. <laughs> Bye. When you smell nice and fresh, there's no need for people to get fresh with you. Now that's a great life tip. And you know what keeps us smelling fresh? Native deodorant. Mm. Uh, Native is formulated without aluminum, parabens, or talc. 
It's also vegan and never tested on animals. And native deodorant is made with ingredients you've actually heard of, like coconut oil and shea butter. You wear deodorant every day. Shouldn't you be able to understand the ingredients list? And of course it works great. Switching to native from an antiperspirant doesn't mean you'll have to worry about that midday BO either. There's a reason why native deodorant has over 16,000 five-star reviews. With over 10 cents, including their classics and rotating seasonals, you're guaranteed to find one you love. They've got coconut and vanilla, lavender and rose, cucumber and mint, and citrus and herbal musk. Cucumber and mint is my favorite right now. It makes me feel fresh and reminds me of when I used to drink cucumber vodka. That's tea. What's your favorite? Honestly, I rotate scents because I like to try them all, and I love when they update the seasonal scents. Mm. And You're a seasonal scent girl. She is. Did you see they launched a partnership with Jungalo? They've got one scent in the collaboration called Paradise Flower and Amber, and that sounds so delicious. If you're not into Paradise Flower and Amber, Native also has unscented deodorants as well as their sensitive collection, which is made without baking soda. Oh, and Native now offers a line of plastic-free deodorants in their most popular scents, We love that. Yeah, and it's no risk to try. Plus, free shipping on every order in the U.S. and Native offers 30-day free returns and exchanges in the U.S. So make the switch to Native today by going to nativedo.com slash chaser. Or use promo code chaser at checkout and get 20% off your first order. That's nativedo.com slash chaser. Or use the promo code Chaser at checkout for 20% off your first order. Mm. That would be a great drag name, Brittany B side. Brittany B side. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't do the hits, I only do the B sides. <laughs> phonography, phonography. You know that one? Um, uh, what's that one that she covers? I love rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a hit. I mean, the movie Crossroads is a hit. A life changing feature. No, that's a feature. (laughs) Uh, Uh, So each queen for their little tic tac moment, they're doing Inside the Drag Race for an intimate conversation with Rue, Michelle, and a bowl of 13 year old tic tacs. mm -hmm, Which, yeah. I. I think is, I don't know why they kept the tic tacs in the foreground. Was that how they do it inside the actor's studio? No. No, they've done this with the crown though before. Like that that's where mm-hmm. they set the crown and it gets a special lighting cue and you mm-hmm. see it in the foreground and then the focus changes. Um so I don't know, I guess it's just really elevating the Tic Tacs to a place of prominence and importance. So, my my hand has been in that bowl of Tic Tacs. I'll have you know. You grabbed a whole handful I heard. I sure did. Sure did. Um, I have a question. This is the interview Excuse portion. Excuse me, may I ask a question? Excuse me, may please I ask a question? <laughs> Does this wedge sneaker give me a wedge uh, in the competition? <laughs> What's your question? Okay, my question is... A wedge up. Oop, did I forget my question? About the Tic Tacs? Uh, the interview no. portion. Oh, yeah, this is interview portion of the page. So, who won interview? Very that. I think, I feel like... RuPaul got very much her life with Cade. It was laughing and like glad handing from the beginning. Gorgeous, mm-hmm. funny banter, banter. Oh, we should sit. Let's start. I guess. We, oh, we're rolling already. Great. Um, very amazing and natural. I feel like from there it didn't get. She enjoyed her time with everybody. Her 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 goodbye to Rose was like thank you. It was very that. Her goodbye to Rose was thank you for participating. <laughs> Honey, she said they're gonna they're gonna get you for parking though, and make sure they they have a lovely lunch on Fridays. Try the fish. Um, she she Rose is definitely um a coworker for her. She's not a um contender. Like I love Rose, I think she's talented, but Rue just the way she said goodbye to her, it's like that shows exactly what Rue thinks. Yeah, I Ms. mean Paul. it was it was clear that Got Mick really. I mean there was really a connection. They were just like they were they were laughing and chuckling and having a good a good convo, which is which is nice. If it Got was Mick. a job interview, Got Mick would have gotten yeah. the job. Got Mick is trans, RuPaul loves trains. 
Um, uh, so the, the queens get back to writing their lyrics. Uh, Rosé is quick to write a page full of lyrics. There's a lot of words. Shumina girls got a lot of words. Shumina girls are playing Scrabble. Shumina girls just give a lengthy delivery. <laughs> and it works. R- Rosé is a custom rapper. Um... Did Seasonal you order, custom rapper. Did you order a custom rap for Rosé? No, but I sure am the fuck going to now. I'm getting one on <laughs> on you Cameo are. right now. I'm going to order it. <laughs> My name is Willem, and I'm here to say I like drag in a major way. Put is it that? up my ass. I'll squirt it out. <laughs> what, how do you say Rose Rosé drag queen? What comes? How do you book this oh. bitch? Um, the Why Rose, she, she oh, sometimes founder. goes by. It's me, Rose, from RuPaul's Drag Race season 13. Y'all, listen, I am on Cameo, and I could not be happier to be congratulating people for you, relaying bad news for you, making up stupid fucking songs for your friends. I don't care. Book me now, bitch. Oh. Hey, Stun, it's me, Rose. Okay. I'm booking Book it. Book me now. Booking it. Join Rose's fan club to unlock more exclusive videos. I don't want to. I just want her to tell me I'm beautiful. Oh, sometimes she doesn't wear a wig. I need to specify, please wear a wig, sir. <laughs> Fine, I'll join the fan club. Like she's in, dra- like in drag face, but no wig, or just out of drag? Drag face, no wig. And one, she's out of drag, but she's wearing her merch. So that, this, that uh, kind of counts. Okay, yeah. The woman is Sharon, in the room. Sharon pretended to be RuPaul. Uh, right. Yeah, very that. Okay, cool. I'm going to get this cameo. Um, so they're all writing lyrics. Camillo. Camillo. Camillo Cabello. Camillo Cahelno. Camillo. <laughs> Camillo uh, Cameo Patreon Patreon. Let's call the whole thing off. No. <laughs> uh, Simo- <laughs> Simone is not going to sing, but she's going to speak the words in a melodic type of way, which I think this is very smart. As Carson Kressley says later, this competition is about, uh, 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 magnifying your strengths, camouflaging what you're not so strong at. So if you're not the singer, then don't sing. You don't need to. Yeah, not at all. Uh, and Rosé will sing enough for everybody. That's guaranteed, I think. <laughs> Leah Michelle <laughs> about. Honey. Candy's nervous because she's been in the bottom for the past few challenges, and they were just like this one. Um, <sighs> she's sweating bullets. Honey. She's like, fuck, you guys, every time I've been in the bottom, it's been for a fucking singing and writing and, you know, performing challenge. Yeah. Uh, So she's a little nervous. Now, the conversations with um, Rue and Michelle, we kind of talked about them already a little bit. I was interested in how Candy got her drag name, Mm -hmm. uh, which comes from Candy Darling, and the K is from her name, Kevin. Yeah, that's all it's from, too, I bet. Right. Um, Her middle name is Edamine. And I I Edamame. loved I loved Candy's interview. I mean, she's such a, like, charming, hilarious uh, person. And and I, I'm really glad that she's in this final four. She's, Me too. She really is a muse. Uh, because she inspires, she inspires people. I yeah. like her a lot. Simone is right off the bat asked by RuPaul, like, how do you get that shine? She says, baby oil girl. And right. RuPaul says, fuck you. <laughs> the, way you. the way you say fuck you to like that younger version of you that you see sometimes pumping and you're like, oh, what? <laughs> um, but she, Simone makes a point to talk about the House of Avalon and how they all move from Ar- Arkansas to L.A. And we yeah. were booked at that club with her when she was working there. Mm-hmm. Back when they were still living there. And like, I remember just spotting the talent and so nice to see it on a national stage now, international. But, um, oh, absolutely. Rue basically is giving masterclass. This is right out of her masterclass, exact quote, literally, about yeah. having the same power out of drag that you have in drag. Um, yeah. If you want to watch me take the masterclass, I do it on my Patreon. You can go mm. see it. We learn a lot of things. 
I love that. No, I mean, this is very, but it's good advice. I mean, it, it is a nice, you know, conversation and, um, and, and, it, and it is really good advice. So I appreciated this moment. Um, uh, I appreciate Jamal. Cause oh, girl, we, she has, we get into the choreography session. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Jamal goes down the line with the girls. You got Mick is first and, He's just happy to be near that man again. You can tell it was meant to be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I lo- also love the uh, the commercial teaser. It's like coming up, and Simone, her foot slightly doesn't hit the chair correctly, and it's just mm-hmm. cataclysmic. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! A dancer! Oh my god! You guys! You guys! In a dance rehearsal, a dancer did one step slightly incorrectly. Not this okay. is. This is the end. This, this is, is the, the end. finals, guys. <laughs> I just love the drama. Um, Candy gets a good old eight count. Um, Jamal says, make the movement precise and sexy. I mean, once you give her a piece of hair, I'm sure everything will fall into place. But Candy was just eating it, honey. She was having a good time. Honey, she, honey she, glazed. She, <laughs> she was ham, honey. <laughs> She had her heat seeking mini shorts on, honey. Yes. Oh yeah. They 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 go where the heat is. <laughs> the heat is on. Um, the heat and, is on. <laughs> and Rose uh seemed to have learned the dance before they all got there. I mean, she knew it. She was she's so precise. She she really is. I mean, uh, people Except who are at the end. When he asked her to give it a little swag and she was on the one and the three and she should have been on the two and the four. Wow. <laughs> well, that's yeah. vulnerability. Technically proficient. No, yes. it's it's having Caucasian ass rhythm. Okay. Well that yeah, that happens too. <laughs> yeah. The, the the this is, I mean, and you know, if you've been around you know Broadway people, but it it really it it is an otherworldly level of talent to be able to pick up the dance moves like that they just tell you what to do and you do it perfectly and then you can sing on top of it broadway people are aliens yeah they really are talented i have mad respect for broadway talent um the next next day day. (laughs) A few hours later. How does it feel to be back in the workroom? Well, Gottmik wants to stay in the workroom forever and do more runways. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Then they ask, uh, what was your first impression of me, Rose? mm. (laughs) Oh, I, 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 I thought you wore too much makeup and you were a slut. Oh, but I was wrong. You don't wear too much makeup. wear too much makeup. (laughs) (laughs) Golden Girls can fit any scenario, any time of any day, I'm pretty sure. I've always found that to be the case. <laughs> Simone said that Rosé had no flavor. She was Purdue chicken in, no seasoning. <laughs> Not Purdue. <laughs> Honey, did you see Oprah's face when she tasted that one winner's chicken? Oh, Oprah had to taste like this prize winning chicken from like the Campbell chicken people or something. She came on her show as a guest and Oprah was like, you didn't salt and pepper? She's like, no, uh-uh. The rest, mm-mm. And Oprah was like, <laughs> and the whole audience saw Oprah and like they went to taste it after, and Oprah was like, new salt and pepper. <laughs> um, it was, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Gottmik thought Rose wasn't funny. Um, right. She and, was like, oh, you're a comedy queen? Huh. <laughs> that was your best joke. Sure. Yeah. Um, but, but then they got to know each other and, you know, they, they see Rosé as really hilarious, really lovely. And they're, they're really close sisters now. Mm-hmm. Um, Simone just at first thought Candy was the loud girl. But over time, her humility really came to show through and, and her, uh, how lovable she is did as well. Mm-hmm. Gottmik was uh, really scared about doing comedy or... A roast thing before he went, but yeah. he totally did a 180. And he's now like the comedy performer queen. And he's not just like the makeup and fashion girl that he thought he was. Um, and the self-imposed pleasure to rep it was a pressure. Pressure. Oh. 
That's why it was self-imposed weird. pleasure. pleasure. Honey. Tell us more about pleasure. it, Dipper. Tell us about that Zoom call you were on yesterday. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell the us about self-imposed that pressure to represent the trans community <laughs> was immense, but the lesson learned is the best way to represent the community is just be yourself. Hallelujah! Write the rent a plane and write it in the sky. That's tea. That's sickening. Yes, gorge. Mm-hmm. Put it on a t-shirt. We're taking a break. Uh, but before we do, Willem, uh, would you like to go on a roast tour with... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Mick, Mick got Mick as Simone. Do you want to go oh, on yeah. a roast tour with me? Yeah. <laughs> Simone was bitch. like, no, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, talk to my manager. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take a break on that one. Sheets should not be something you hold on to for years and years. If you're still sleeping on your college sheets or your first apartment sheets, stop. You deserve an upgrade. Uh, Sheet. And we know that nice sheets are sometimes priced way too high. Well, trust us on this one. Go check out Brooklinen. Yes. So Brooklinen was started by Rich and Vicky, and they founded Brooklinen because they wanted to get amazing sheets easily to the consumer. And those manufacturers make luxury available directly to you without the luxury level markup. Brooklinen has a variety of sheets, colors, patterns, and materials to fit your needs and tastes. And Brooklinen has over 50,000 five-star reviews and counting. So a lot of people like it. Including it's us. It's true. They are so confident you'll love their products. They even offer a 365 day money back guarantee. They've also got comforters, pillows, towels, and even loungewear. These are such great sheets. I could never return it. The, yeah, I mean, they really are so lovely, so comfortable. They keep you cool. They are beautiful to look at, and they feel very, very nice. Well, this is very exciting. Brooklinen has a special offer for our listeners. Ooh, go to brooklinen.com and use promo code DRAG, drag. to get $25 off when you spend $100 or more, plus free shipping. That's B R O O K L I N E N dot com and enter the promo code. Drag. Drag to get $25 off when you spend $100 or more plus free shipping. Brooklinen.com and use promo code DRAG, Drag. at checkout. Let's face it, trips to the post office can be a hassle. We love the USPS and the amazing mail service, but when you are shipping packages, imagine how much easier it would be to just print your shipping labels at home. Yes. That's why we recommend mailing and shipping online at Stamps.com. Stamps.com brings the service of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to you. Simply use your computer to print official U.S. postage 24-7 for any letter, any package, any class of mail, anywhere you want to send it. And once your mail is ready, just schedule a pickup or drop it off. It's that simple. No matter what you're sending or how many, Stamps.com can handle it all with ease and pay a lot less with discounted rates. As moguls of media and drag, we're running a very busy operation, which involves lots of packages and mail, shipping wigs and merch and gifts, lots of packages going out and coming in, and Stamps.com makes it a whole lot easier. Whole lot easier. You literally can do it all from your home and just drop it off at the post office or schedule a pickup with your mail carrier. Mm -hmm. It's still using the USPS service, which we appreciate, just skipping all the lines. And leave it to a drag queen to skip over lines. That's tea. Also, with Stamps.com, you get discounts up to 40% off post office rates and up to 62% off UPS shipping rates. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's no wonder why nearly 1 million small businesses already use Stamps.com, including me. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and with our promo code... Drag. Drag. You get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in... Drag. Drag. That's stamps.com. Promo code... Drag. Drag. Uh, we are back and it's time for the main stage and won't she do it? Mother RuPaul in a metallic floral mini dress and ruffle skirt. 
And the legs are out. She said, honey, get into these gams, boys. It looks like um, a sparkly upholstery fabric made into like a little uh, Moulin Rouge uh, spooge dust type of casino look. I love it. Because you can, can, can. You Mm -hmm. like that leg up in the promo picture? Honey, she's giving me 70s flamingo and I'm here for it. So lovely. Really, really sickening. Everything's sickening. perfect. Uh, the judges also look nice. <laughs> Ross Matthews is wearing an earring set. Uh, Carson Kressley. <laughs> in a, Calling in out a, the white the white diamonds commercial. These have always brought me luck. Girl, that gets me together because that commercial was on all the time when I was a child. Oh, yeah. uh, so the, the curtains blowing in the breeze, all of that. I love that commercial. Michelle's also there. She looks fine. Um, then we see the world premiere of what everybody is waiting for the music video for Lucky. Yes, honey, this gave me straight up, uh, Bills, Bills, Bills. Mm-hmm. Meets, oh, no, yes. no, no, mm-hmm. say my name. It's say my name meets Mulan meets Lady Marmalade. Very type of tease. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm not mad at it. I love this video, I think it's sickening. I thought Gottmik started out super duper strong, she killed it. And all the girls had great little moments and verses. And RuPaul said, "Sure, I'll be. Sure, I'll be in your video. Um, yeah, yeah just how oh, about we oh. do it when I do those video message things? Yeah, yeah. yeah let's just tag it on the end. Yeah, you guys, you guys, that'll be <laughs> Listen, great. That is, um, that's called working smarter. Mm-hmm. That's real. Yep. I mean, it is. She was in front of a green screen. She said, let's, you guys." You guys, we need to bang this out. You're so lucky we tonight need- <laughs> that I'm going to sit here and do it for you. I'm not standing. I'm in sweatpants and shoes. <laughs> How about she said bussy so much? I love it. I'm here for this song. I, this is my favorite song since Kitty Girl, I think. She said bussy? She said bussy. Yes. She says bussy. The chorus oh, I- is this bussy is ready. <laughs> This pussy I red. thought she was saying pussy, and I was like, how are you saying that on TV? Because... No, bussy. Bussy? Mm-hmm. I can show you one later. You know, the other day I read the word fussy, and I thought, what part of the body is that? What hole is that? <laughs> that was a tweet. I saw it on a tweet. Um, so, who for you won the talent portion? Who's your favorite out of this? You know what? Um, uh, I I thought Rosé technically was very lovely. Proficient, honey. Proficient. I feel like they were lighting her with pink and red light, which I think it makes your makeup kind of disappear sometimes. Do you know yeah. what I'm talking about? Yeah, it takes away like any shade from flesh, just blush. So you don't really, you get washed out. Yeah. Um, but I mean, her the technicality of her verse was outstanding, and the I mean, her dancing was crazy. The she American really, really Dream crushed part, it. Like so good. Um, but I also loved what Simone did. Me too. I mean, it was very much her slow groove, she, smooth taste. Yes, and she. She was very much herself. I really enjoyed what she did as well. I mean, I enjoyed them all. Nobody, you know, Mm -hmm. nobody, everybody did good. What color would you have been? I'm mad they didn't. They didn't get. They didn't get candy. A yellow stocking. They're like, just wear the white one, honey. (laughs) Did they? Yeah, she's not in a yellow stocking. It's definitely white. Fabric.com. They didn't have the yellow. What color would I want? Probably blue. I mean, out of these, out of these colors, I think uh, blue would go would be nice. I always mm-hmm. like wearing blue. I like the orange. It's RuPaul's favorite color. Oh yes. Yeah, I could definitely hit an orange moment. Um, but they all look sickening, um, and they're coming out and prancing for the last time for the judges. And the runway category is drag excellence. Yes. And we get some excellence. Got Honey. Mick in this polka dotted poodle hair uh, 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 cutouts, wild, mm-hmm. conceptual, glamorous, impactful, really, really great. And you know who made it, right? Huh. So uh, Marco designed it and Dallas made it. Yeah. 
Yes. Friends of the pod. Uh, deep friends. Yes, Dallas. Yes. Miss Candeliza Muse. She is. She's in a sheer kind of mesh um, look with victory rolled hair. Um, the colors are reminiscent of the music video. I heard a piece. I heard a piece of intel that this possibly could have come from the sheer runway. That challenge. makes sense because I mean, who does a reveal with a sheer outfit? She had to do a, a little bit of shuffling around some of her looks. Yeah. And so she ended up wearing, I think, her finale or th- her final episode dress during the trains. trains. Mm-hmm. And I I don't know. There was some sort of arithmetic and, and switching around of things that happened. But this is um, this is a very impactful look. Um, the colors are fierce. The colors like are giving me cool. Velma, Daphne, and Scooby. <laughs> Very that girl. They yes, they uh-huh. went into the the mystery machine, and uh, they all started trying on each other's clothes. <laughs> and uh, Freddie pulled out a sewing machine. <laughs> this and... hair, this hair was also uh, got mix from the uh, Rainbow Runway where he was in the uh, the blue dress, and she had the like. The sun on her hand or something. That was her hair for that. Oh, wow. Cool. Hey, yeah. girl. You know what? Pull the it girls together. Be, the girls be pulling. Yeah. Uh, Rosé's pulling it down the runway in this tartan gown. Uh, brown, ball, brown belt, black accessories. I don't know if I would have necessarily done that. And there's a black accent on the bag. Just the brown belt is, is making it go in a different direction for me. Okay. But the hair. The hair. See, so See, good. I didn't. I didn't mind the brown belt, the black gloves. I, I was like, okay. I mean, wh- I don't. I mean, I think it could have been. I think if all that stuff was stripped away, like if the hair was up and the focus was just this dress, mm-hmm. no gloves, just just a, an arm, a clean arm. Mm-hmm. I think the dress really would have like shouted more. You know, yeah, the dress, the pattern for me is just it's getting murky and dark and lost with all the pleating and in the wide because like that that pattern's just not popping on the, all the patterns and lights behind it, you know? Right. But a beautiful shape, beautifully made and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Simone, um, oh, Jesus this Christ! Look, this look is made out of the same stuff that Dallas made our Vita outfits out of. I think. Oh, this is my. F- Favorite Every drag material, queen has something in this. Stretch taffeta, darling. Uh, darling. We, yes. This is our go- this is our go-to with Dallas. Stretch or at least my A-B. go-to. Uh-huh. It's beautiful. I love it. And I heard that um Gigi Good's mom made this. Oh, work. Keep it in That's the family. What I heard. And the hair is transcendent. It's a statement and it's beautiful. Um, the sleeves uh, are, I mean, this, this is a look that we all know a finale episode is coming after this, but this is a look that you could see the crown being put on. Mm-hmm. on She's she, dressed for a crowning, honey, in this. She's ready for it, yes. Yeah, you can't eat crowning nothing in that little uh, get up and go resort look. <laughs> I love it, but that's not crowning. Uh uh-uh, uh, that's girl in the go. She brought her bag. Um, Rue gives out some nice advice to the girls, and she tells them to pay their taxes and don't read the comments. Yeah, don't read the comments. It's not worth it. Oh. <laughs> You know we love a theme. Of course, a theme party, a themed wedding, even a seasonal theme. Well, guess what? It is spring and FabFitFun <laughs> has got a theme for you. Yes, the spring box is centered around the theme Grow Forth, supporting self-care and self-growth in the new season ahead. To order your FabFitFun box, you can become a member and order a box with 8 to 10 full-size premium products. Each season, you can customize your box with add-ons. Be like us and indulge in the best in beauty, fitness, wellness, home, and everything in between. I got a cute little Alice and Olivia dress. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. 
Is that Mac lipstick you're wearing? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, it is. How fetching. These beautiful um, light pink shades of Mac lipstick are fabulous and frosty. And oh, beautiful. so spring. Ugh. You know, FabFitFun is passionate about showcasing amazing women, and there are 20 female-founded brands, including in the Spring Box, offerings this season. A perfect way to receive seasonal must-haves without leaving home. Mm-hmm. Um, this is like my second or third box, and I am loving all the content. I've been using my cactus cooler, though, from my first box. She never lets me down. Girl, I know you did. And I also got Coco Floss, which Ooh. is something I never would have tried otherwise. But I really like it. It's like floss, but like more fun and pretty. Uh, So if you want to order your spring box today, you can sign up now and snag amazing products like the Alice and Olivia garments or some MAC lipstick or cocoa floss when you customize. Use coupon code DRAG for $10 off your first box at www.fabfitfun.com. That's code Drag. Drag. For $10 off your first box at www.fabfitfun.com. Order your spring box today. Sign up now so you can snag amazing products like the Grown Alchemist Seed Growing Box. Ooh, and there's the uh, Josie Moran Beauty Line too, and those products are always pleasing. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? I mean, there's a lot going on in the world right now. There's uh, political unrest and upheaval. There's misinformation. uh, And um, it can be uh, very daunting and very overwhelming for a lot of people. Hmm. Um, BetterHelp is a great resource for online counseling. That's T. They will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist with a broad range of expertise to choose from. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses from your counselor. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions from home. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it easy and free to change counselors if needed. And it's more affordable than traditional offline counseling with financial aid available. So if you're looking to talk to someone or have been meaning to find a counseling service, now is the perfect time to take advantage of our special offer. You can get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash drag. That's BetterHelp.com slash drag. For 10% off your first month. BetterHelp.com slash drag. Professional counseling done online in the comfort and safety of your own home. I kind of love that this episode is a love song to the queens and none of them really got bad reviews at all from the judges. They all did great. So I don't see why they should have nitpicked anyway, but it was really wonderful to see like everything that they did. So celebrated. Absolutely. These critiques are, um, are love songs with, with Gottmik. They love her. Oh, I know the fashion, the performance and like her growth in the competition. And we've all watched it too. And RuPaul Honey. Mm, Tears. Yeah. I didn't RuPaul, know that could happen. I mean, this absolutely. And this is a really touching uh, moment. And we have seen a really amazing journey with Got Mick. I mean, Got Mick just being in this competition and and being herself has been a groundbreaking, like really important moment. So this is, this is a very, uh, this is a significant moment. And I liked it a lot. And even if like, you didn't feel like if you didn't know somebody trans before this, and now that you've seen someone trans on TV, like him, Mm -hmm. he's just so relatable. And he delivers everything with a joke. Like, Oh, I would have cried too right there with Rube if I wasn't on so many T blockers or testosterone. I mean, like, it's so funny. And you want to instantly be his friend. I think he's like, I, I'm so glad that he's in the, the world's like um, orbit now. You know, she's a star. Absolutely. Absolutely. Can- Miss Candeliza Muse. We always knew she was a star. Her charisma <laughs> yes. is just like off the charts. And the judges agree with that. Um, and she always gets back up and fights for it. No matter how many times she might have faltered a little bit. Um, I, she could easily win. You know, Absolutely. it all comes down to it all comes down to the lip sync. Let's not forget season nine, honey. 
let's not forget. Who knows what this finale of Bonanza is going to be? They're always switching it up. We don't know. Uh, we absolutely don't know. Um, Rose, they praise her as being talented and professional and always with polish and attention to detail. Um, they love the singing, the rapping, the dancing, the hip hop rapping <laughs> girls time. time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Skeleton crew. Skeleton crew is the winner. Okay. Um she's she's got the total package. Rose yeah. is the TP. Total package. Total package. Uh, That's true. Carson says that Simone always wears the clothes and they never wear her, which is like some something that people say about all the pretty girls. Um <laughs> Right. And they love the over, the way that the judges love the way she overcame their stumbles with like the singing and the rose challenges. And she does have a way of like making everything work for her as Simone. I I I appreciated her stumbles because I'm like, look, she worked her way through it. She that was not her favorite, but she survived. Um, and watching her like get it back up and fight in the competition and all those runways, like seeing her runways, like lest we forget a couple weeks ago, the beaded runway. Ugh. Like Girl, honey, but every time it's an event, it's a statement, it's yeah. art, it's brilliant. Mm-hmm. She's she's iconic and uh and such a lovely soul and such a lovely spirit. Um, and then we get to see the baby photos. Bring out the baby photos, baby face. <laughs> you got the cutest little <laughs> baby face, <laughs> honey. That's Candy. Candy Candy looks like a kid that you would babysit that will bite you and then say sorry and ask for a snack. I love Candy. <laughs> Playing in paint cans. She looks so fucking cute. Oh, my god! I want a Candy baby. <laughs> candy looks exactly the same at age three. Honestly. <laughs> like exactly. She looks same. like she's got a thumb drive uh. and a cigarillo in her pocket. <laughs> She looks exactly the same. Honestly. Uh, Rue does offer up that uh, the the pictures were shown with permission of all the contestants, meaning uh, Cade's younger one. Just like, you know, sometimes people don't want to see old pictures of themselves before they transitioned. Right. And um, I think him making a point of saying that is really great. It makes people go, oh, wow. Yeah, that kind of thing, you know, should be thought about. Exactly. RuPaul's Drag Race. And she says, younger self. And in the past season, she used to say, what would you say to baby and then their other name? So she I didn't chose get not there. to do that. I didn't what? Know. I, I never got to that part. What part? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't well, do baby pictures I... your season, did they? No. Well, they might have. They didn't do it. They didn't do it while I was there, though. <laughs> Did I'm you get to do glad, baby pictures? I'm glad that I'm glad though that you didn't make it that far because I wouldn't want anyone to reveal your government name. <laughs> that is my it name. would break the illusion it would break the illusion for me okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes. like, would that be ridiculous if you if you like if your birth name was like travis or something <laughs> like, i mean willem is a stage name you guys i mean bob has like a really <laughs> cool name and he uses <laughs> the weirdest like plainest name ever yeah yeah <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, this is always a really emotional moment. Um, um, I mean, Simone, oh my God, Simone's oh, yeah, uh, conversation like- with herself is just like really touching and really, really beautiful. I feel like RuPaul and Simone could do a duet to Pink's conversations with my 13 year old self. Mm, okay, very that. Um, it's it's like a love fest. If RuPaul says, "Don't make the same, don't make the mistake I did. Love yourself." And then it goes into same script, different cast. Deborah, what's this about? <laughs> Thank you for being woman enough to come. He said that he told you <laughs> that is true. What <laughs> if he's trying to tell you? Could it be the same thing that he told Deborah me? He told me that he loved me. I heard that. Uh, he told me I was beautiful. How, How did you know? know? How did you know? Cause I played the scene before. <laughs> <laughs> this is a podcast about drag race. <laughs> what we're gonna see and set in place. Oh my God. Speaking, Speaking of Whitney, you 
tell. Honey. This. Okay. It, the, okay, they're they're switching it up. They switch it up. You switch mm-hmm. it up. But I tried switch. to hug you. I tried to hug her. I tried. <laughs> I, but I tried <laughs> to hug you. Um, the the lip sync song is "I Learned from the Best," Whitney Houston, the remix. Oh yeah, this gave a whole stranger in my house bump 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 in the middle, and the remix pumped on. Very that. Very um. Very lovely. And they switched it up because it's they're going one at a time. Yeah. And I thought this was a disservice to the viewer because no one got to see a clear picture of anybody's performance for more than a couple seconds. It was very um, herky jerky. Um, <laughs> you thought it was herky jerky? Yes. The editing went from two screen to four screen to one screen to, oh, they get one word. Some of the girls got one split second. For a single, and then it clicked back. Like it was so quick. L- Rose kept doing punch arms, and that's when they would go to her. Mm, like right. there was, there was. It didn't feel like a performance. It felt like a compilation, and I think it did a disservice to all the girls. Because, and I heard none of the girls wanted to do that song anyway. Oh wow! Dun 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 <laughs> dun dun. dun, dun. At, ver- at first, my first thought was, "Oh my gosh." Wait, just a drag queen lip syncing by themselves? That's going to be weird. And then I was like, wait, that's exactly what drag, like a drag show completely is. Some two, of qu- two queens lip syncing against each other never happens out in the wild uh, or very rarely. Um, but I, I just, I kind of felt bad for the judges. I mean, they must have been squirming in their seats by the time they watched the same song. Honey, oh, she's going to do that number two? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. Yes, I mean, this is like... Get Ellie this Diamond is... over here to do the lineup. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Shit. This Did you like... like that song, though, for this no, moment? Yeah. No, it was, it was like, it, it should have been like... That? Your love is my love, or a better Whitney, or like a, a Fred and I, you and your boss. Have they done Ugh. that? That's a lip sync song. <sighs> Sasha and that's Peppermint lips- did it at the finale. Oh, that's a lip sync. Okay, song like for your life. Scott. Yeah, I just this was not the this was not a great lip sync final song for me at all. You want something triumphant, and this didn't like this did not feel like that. This felt like a. I don't it's know. It's a I formality. Just... I mean, it's very like we we pretty much we pretty much know that they're not going to send anyone home, right? Or I mean, did we I don't uh-huh. I don't know if people knew that for sure, but I I know that if this was if this was the bad song, I can't wait to hear the good songs that they use for the finale lip sync. I did think that Simone's choice to use the the Whitney Houston white towel, mm-hmm. it was, I mean, she's always got it. She always gets the assignment. She always knows what's going on. Yep. Loved it. Loved that Loved choice. It. Can I get your opinion on wait. when I call your name, please step forward? Oh. Yeah, I've never seen... I've never seen Simone's Adam's apple so pronounced when she swallowed that sigh of relief when RuPaul called her fucking name, honey. <laughs> uh, she, no, she she was like... She swallowed. She was like, Watch the you, tape, honey. you better call my fucking name. <laughs> like, what, like, you better what call me reality? by my name, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> in what reality would the person on stage who had won the most challenges uh, be, be excluded? <laughs> I mean, it would literally like that. It's not even like even in the multiverse. That's not even a possibility. Um, I mean, at one point in a competition, once upon a time, the person that had won the most challenges up to that point was sent home unceremoniously. So you never know. Period. Oh, you? I mean, I had won. I, yeah, I had won the most at that point. And then they sent me home. So it does happen. I'm glad it didn't happen here. Simone does not deserve <sighs> to be sent home. With anything less than a crown. I mean, uh, it, it yes, it was um, it was a little moment of gotcha journalism with the "Would you please step forward?" <laughs> and then going down the line, <laughs> and then everyone gets a step for, forward. For uh, sure. My favorite part about Untucked was, um, you know, they're like, "Okay, we got the girls for one more Untucked. Let's make sure they cry before they go do this close-up single lip sync." Right, right, right. Of Let, course. Oh, well, let's make Rose cry. Oh, we'll get Simone too. She's a crier. Let's get Simone to cry too. Yeah. Do Do we have any more video messages in the in the inbox? 
Oh, okay. Play it. Yeah, just play. Yeah, let's back uh, to back. Cue it up. It. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the queens have a glass of bubbly, a glass oh. of champagne. Sometimes my heart just gets to racing, just having it sitting on the table. <laughs> <laughs> I like that the girls all get to leave a group mirror message. What would you what would you write if you had the opportunity? I know you haven't. But what would you have written? I would write bye and just write e e e e e e e and fill the whole the whole mirror, the whole Work. mirror with e. Yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. And I would just do the rest will be unshitten and put my mouth on it again. <laughs> <laughs> and you use like you use like brown liquid liquid lipstick. Oh to, like, yeah, to... a good matte brown. <laughs> Weird. Uh, like... No, I brought my own. <laughs> oh no 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 no! From I have Chuck my own. face and body. Yeah. Uh, this so was they, such a fun. Let's go ahead. I was just gonna say. So timeline wise, they said next week is the reunion and then the finale. So two more mm. weeks. Two more weeks before Rue sees her wait, wait, summer all stars. Two more winter. weeks. What happened? They said next week is the reunion, mm-hmm. and in two weeks oh. we'll have a winner. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sure Work. everybody was like just watching, and then they're like two weeks, and they're like, oh fuck. <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. Keep it coming. Keep it pumping, queen. You know what? Throw in another clip episode. I don't care. <laughs> Do it. I heard Do it. And fourteen girls got their calls. Oh, dude. Ooh. They're making calls. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Well, did did you hear, did you hear anything about uh, your bitch, date? I'm applying for Dragula. Oh, okay. You I would want- you'd be sickening on Dragula because you are capable of, like, I know that you wouldn't wince at any of the things they asked you to do. What? Stab, stabbing yourself with needles, eating <sighs> bugs. I could see you doing all of this. And just being like, sure, give it, let keep going. Yeah. <laughs> I really could. Yeah, I want the money. I'm doing it. A hundred K. Jeez. She wants Bitch. that shutter money, honey. <laughs> uh-huh. I want it. Um, thank you so much for joining us on Race Chaser this week. Mm. I'm Willem. And I'm Alaska. And we would love for you to write a little review of our podcast on your preferred podcast app. And don't forget to subscribe to us. And if you take a moment and leave us a rating, we'll like it. Yeah, we will. And you can follow the dolls at Willem at the Only Alaska 5000. Our Race Chaser account is at Race Chaser Pod. And our Mom Podcast account is at Mom Podcasts. We have special bonus content available at patreon.com slash Willem, and you can search for that by searching for Race Chaser in the little search thing when you go to the Patreon behind the paywall, pussy. Okay? And email us anytime at racechaserpodcast at gmail.com. Also, wear a mask, (laughs) wash your hands, please socially distance yourself, and respect each other out in the world. Hallelujah. Race Chaser is not endorsed by World of Wonder, Viacom, or any of their subsidiaries. It is intended for entertainment and informational purposes only. RuPaul's Drag Race and all names, pictures, audio, and video clips are registered trademarks and or copyrights of their respective trademark and or copyright holders. Forever Dog. Race Chaser with Alaskan Willem is a Forever Dog podcast. Produced by Big Dipper. Executive produced by Brett Poem, Joe Cilio, and Alex Ramsey. Mixed and mastered by Will Pitts. Our theme song is Race Chaser by Alaska Thunderfuck. Oh.